party at my job, and I ate nothing. That's a you problem. No, they didn't offer me food. I just worked through it. Wow, that's terrible. But uh, hopefully less terrible is Rob versus Villager for one of these guys. As we go right into HO3K, Dill versus GG Stocktaker. 69. You got to add that, man. Nice. It, it's like a trademark at this point. He owns the number. Yo, let me see some more down tilts. Do another one. Hey, listen, if I had a character that had down tilts that good, I'd put it out all the time, too. No, you wouldn't. Press one for one more down tilt, two for two more down tilts. Let me so <laughs> get a four for five more down tilts. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. A three for six more down tilts. Yeah. But a four for only three more down tilts. And press nine if you want to speak Spanish. <laughs> Don't do. Hey, <Yeah>, down tilt. <laughs> <laughs> to listen to these options again, please press pound. Or wait. <laughs> All right, it's going to be a lot of this. You're going to see plenty of pressure from both of these guys. They both have options to burst off of each other if the battle gets too close, and the zoning war is going to be very consistent. Yeah, you'll definitely see a lot more up tilts from both of the, both sides because it's really good anti-air, and both characters do like coming off the top. On both. top of that, like the style of up tilts works perfectly for this particular matchup, where with Rob's, it's just wide enough to be able to catch Villager's fat head and swift enough for it to not be too heavily punished. Whereas with Villagers, it lingers a little bit, so he's able to catch that wide target. But right now, the only thing being caught is Villager's head. As yeah. down there, that's nah, just the first blood. Yeah, he definitely hanged on there for too long. In this game, the higher your percent is, the less invincibility you have at the ledge. Along with airtime. There we go. Beautiful frame trap from stock. Man, just to net more. Yeah. So, however... He doesn't have the same kind of stage presence that Dill's manages to surround. Even though the battles have been fairly even, like, it's been on Dill's call. He's the one pushing out. He's the one commanding inwards. Yeah, where, well, Rob is really good with in the neutral and other aspects is where Rob faults is his disadvantage. People, like, believe it to me, but Rob sucks at the ledge, guys. Like, all he has is his good option is jump, and if you cover jump like that, all Dill's doing is jumping from ledge. So if Stock realizes that and, like, covers his drift, then Rob has nothing. His roll is terrible, his neutral getup is terrible, and his getup attack, don't even talk about it. Bring up good points. And I think that's why we're seeing a lot of the damage that Stock has managed to build up on Dill has been the only times when he's at the ledge. Yeah, Whether it's because that's where Dill is commanding the battle inwards or that's where he's forced to retreat. And you see Stock definitely caught on right there, now covering jump. And you see jump again, but Stock was Stock was too far away to cover at that time, but he does recognize Dill's habit at jump, of jumping. Now, one interesting thing I want to bring up is Stock's seldom use of pocket. You would think it would be a really good idea to deny the uh, the top, and that's what Stock's going to be doing now. But by keeping pocket as an open option, you also have that ability to take away the laser. But, yeah. uh, you know, player four, you look at those player cameras lately, they're looking type frustrated right now. Mm, I don't know. He, he looks pretty happy. That looks like Happy Dill. He's a bit perturbed, and it's kind of rare to force a emotional reaction out Ooh. of a player like Dill. Oh, Stock going out for it? Yeah, okay, he that missed it right there, but Dill had no jump right there. He was just forced to use his gas. Air out of shield. Read the tech roll in. All right. Yeah, and you saw Stock try to cover the jump right there, but this Lloyd coming out too slow. Stock running with it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> even Dill was like, all right, I, I figured I'd die. Like, Damn, okay. All right, a very convincing game one, I'd say, in Stock's favor. And even though Dill started out the match pretty strong, I feel like that war of attrition was just too much to handle. Now, given the frustration, I... Oh, that's cute. I didn't know you guys would happen to uh, listening to them now. Oh, we... House technology. Oh, yeah. man. Now I can't, like, say all those naughty words. Now nah, say it. You can say them all. I do it. Yeah, you, yeah, you see them? <laughs> Look at those giant mics! Yeah, yeah, I need to get, like, mics better, better suited for this, but, like, they work well enough right now, and I think they're pretty cute. The option to go to Kalos. This is a fine villager stage, so I don't expect stock to switch. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised he did a bear. This is one of Rob's like best stages, I believe. 
So this is definitely Dill's go-to counter pick. Yeah, th this is auto bad. At the very least against Dill, I feel like every clip I've seen of him playing like extra spicy has been with Kalos in the background. Yeah, he, he loves the stage. Look at the beauty of the stage. It is a beautiful stage. stage. Gorgeous. Yo, if I had that, like, was it mirror in the background of my house? Oh, the stained glass yeah. window? Yeah. Kalos was a beautiful region. And this is actually one of the stages that I was, like, hoping for the most at the beginning of Ultimate that would be tournament viable. You got your dream, man. Yeah, but I really did. Nonetheless, though, it, my dream looking more like Dill's Nightmare right now. Even though it's a stage pick, he's still not really getting a chance to play. He's keeping the damage in his favor, but now we're seeing a bit of the reversal from Game 1 where it's on Stock's call. He's the one who's called the shots as far as, like, battles being placed and pacing. Yeah, game, Stock 1 was also rough for Stock on the in Game 1 too, but he managed to bring it back so... Oh, what a very rare. God. That was a really messy SD, too. Yeah. All right. Don't yeah, take it. Bill's definitely frustrated. This is pretty rare form for Bill, because normally he stays well composed, but right out the gate, he was looking ticked off with this type of a match. Now, I know the last time these guys played, it did go in stock favor. Yeah, that was at Glitch, I believe. Yeah, Glitch was the last time we saw these two uh, face each other. Okay, he managed to take... That scooped him up. Villager takes up a lot of room. Yeah, I can see. Oh, remember, when you hit the balloons and knock over them, he pops up right okay. into it. So he's just like, oh, they're going to hit the blender. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow, just like that, we see Del managed to equalize the set into his favor very quickly. Yeah, it, it's like he was not phased by the SD. He said, yo, I'm just going to take two stocks real quick from Stock Taker. 69. I mean, listen, it's, it's a do-or-die kind of situation. You either get the set handed to you or you fight back. Like, <laughs> Bill really did just get rocked really early on, but player of his caliber, not going to get shaken too heavily by it. That being said, though, it's still a fairly even match, especially as Stock manages to even things up without having taken any percentage on this last one of his... Up throw. Okay, again. Two combo right there. 23%. Oh, I didn't even see him plant that. That's the one bad thing about Rob's there. And you don't often get a chance to say that. The fact that um, it lingers there while it's connecting with Void means he's guaranteed to get the counter hit to Void. So. Yeah, so you should recognize that and stop throwing it out. Because it seems like he's auto throwing it out. Like, even though Rob Nair is a great button to press, it's one of those situations where you need to take the unconventional methods to press forward. Yeah, and see, he's getting Nair'd. He's getting Nair'd out of his own Nair because he's hitting it on shield, and it's just that laggy. That could have ended if he grew the tree. Yeah, but I don't think he was, like, confident enough that the tree would grow. Okay, the tree's gone, so he has to grow it again. I appreciate that Dill's trying to utilize back air so that he can space as far as he can, as safe as he can, but it's not getting him anywhere any, any quickly. Oh, got hit by that 22%. That is it. Alice plots to the rest yeah. Any other stage, that would have been a dead drop. But Turnaround down tilt is what it's going to be for a 2-0 into a stock taker's favor. You want, you want to know something? And stock's going to hate me if he ever listens to this. All right. But in that match, I saw shades of John Numbers in his play. The way that... He is John Numbers. The way that stock...